This video, we're going to be tackling the leak code question container with most water. And as usual, we're not even going to read the description because the description is probably just going to confuse you more. Let's talk about what they really want in this leak code question, what they really want. And this is the whole entire point of the video. They talk about this container with water idea, but what they really want is they want you to find the max area of, out of all the possible combinations in this bar chart. Let me elaborate. Well, first things first, they're going to give you an array. This array that they give you is going to be representative of a bar chart. They're not going to give you the bar chart. It's your job, or you can just go ahead and use my bar chart if you want to. But just remember that the array that they give you is going to be representative of a bar chart. And what they want you to do is go through all co possible combination, all possible pairs within this bar chart and find the max area because that is what the water is representative of. As this water goes up and down, what they, even though they're talking about water and a container of water and all these things, what they really want is they want you to find the max possible area out of all the possible combinations and pairs within this bar chart. So first things first is that in order to do this, we're going to have some way to, we're going to have to have some way to keep track of the pairs of the bar. So different ways you could do it. I'm going to go ahead and use two pointer. I'm a big fan of two pointer. And the way that this is going to work is that this body of water, once again, is representative of the area. And what we're going to do is for each possible combination for this two pointer, we're going to find the width and the height. Sometimes the sometimes called the length times the width, but in our case, we just have the width and the height because it's a bar chart. And that's how we're going to find the area. So the width is just going to be the index of the array. I don't have it marked down right here, but it's pretty much just going to be the index. And the width in our case is going to be five, zero, one, two, three, four, five. And the height is going to be two. What we're going to do is we're going to go through each and every one like that, and we're going to find the smallest height out of the pair. So if we go to the next one, so let's just say we're going to go to the next possible co combination right here. What's going to happen is that it's going to find the combination for the two and the five. And you may think that we would find, we would actually move the box up like this, but we're actually going to find the smallest height and we're going to calculate the smallest height like that because that's what would happen if you were to actually fill it up with water. So make sure not to make that mistake. Make sure to find, to take the smallest height whenever you are moving the two pointer and you are pretty much good to go. And that's pretty much the algorithm. So let's go ahead, let's hop inside VS Code and let's code it up. So we are inside of Visual Studio Code right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to type out the boilerplate. I'll leave a link down in the description for the leak code question, but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, type out the leak code uh, method. So I'm gonna say int, and this is going to be the height. And we're gonna go down here. First things first is we need to, number one, have a place to calculate our max area. We're going to be calculating the max area of out of all of these potential bars in the bar chart. So we need to have a place to store the max area. Then we're going to need a place to store our pointer. So we'll go ahead here, going to declare uh, the height dot length. And then we're going to go ahead and subtract the one because we don't want, we don't want the capacity. We want the we want the actual uh, index. So next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use a while loop to stop the actual code when the left and the right pointer try to cross each other because we want the code to terminate when once that happens. And we're we're going to need to calculate the width a lot. And we don't technically need to do this, but in order to make our lives a little bit easier and make our code a little bit easier to read, we're going to go ahead and abstract out the width. And all the width is the right minus the left pointer. That's pretty much all the width is going to be. Next thing, here is the meat and potatoes of the whole entire code. The whole entire point of the code is to calculate the max area. Now there's many ways to do that, but one of the most common ways to do this or to store like the max of something is just to use max dot max and compare each iteration against the previous iteration so we're going to say max dot area and here is where we're going to go ahead and we're going to calculate the new area now notice something here i'm using math dot min and i'm going to go ahead here I'm going to get the height 
of the left and I'm also going to get the height of the right and next thing is we're going to calculate we're going to use the width that we just calculated so I'm going to go up here and get the width and this is pretty much just going to grab the width and or this is pretty much going to grab the area now notice I I used math.min why exactly did I do that let's go back into the whiteboard here let's say that we are trying to calculate um, the area for five and four because this is a container of water, we want the min. We don't want the actual area of the f of five times the width. We want the minimum area, which is going to be the four. So if we are comparing these two actual bars right here, we want the four. We don't. We do not want the uh, five because that's not. Ex that's how water would not do that. Water would. If the water was up here, it would actually spill over so that's the reason that i'm using math.min there and that's kind of a pretty important thing to take note of so next thing is we're going to you we're going to create code that's going to shift the pointers if the left uh, height is less than the right height so we're going to go into here i'm going to say height dot left and next thing i'm going to go ahead and compare the height of the right and if the height of the left is less than the height of the right, what we're going to do is we're going to move over the pointer to the, we're going to shift our left pointer over. And then obviously if in the inverse or the opposite, it, we're going to be shifting the right pointer to uh, over to the left. So that's pretty much it. Next thing that we have to do after we get done with the while loop, we need to actually return the max area. Also, this probably doesn't make it that much of a difference, but let's go ahead and name this max area. It was math area. And I'm going to go ahead, take all this code right here, and let's go ahead and toss it into leak code and see what we get. So I'm gonna go over here, go ahead, bring my browser over just like this. Go ahead, put this inside of there, spruce it up a little bit, and let's go ahead, run it, see what we get. Fingers crossed, all of our test cases are accepted. Let's go ahead, smash that submit button and see our time complexity. We have a time complexity of N, we are linear, we are good to go, and we have a space, space complexity of constant. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, make sure to smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.